4, when the Lord knew that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John, though Jesus himself did not baptize but his disciples, he left Judea and departed again to Galilee. But he needed to go through Samaria, so he came to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, named the plot of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Joseph's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied from his journey, sat us by the well. It was about the sixth hour. The woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Then the woman of Samaria said to him, How is it that you, being a Jew, ask to drink from me a Samaritan woman? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God, and who it is that says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the dwell is deep. Where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it himself, as well as his sons and his livestock? Jesus answered and said to her, Whoever drinks of this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water that I may not thirst, nor come here to draw. Jesus said to her, Go, call your husband, and come here. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, You have well said, I have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and the one whom you have now is, your, is not your husband. And that you spoke uh, truly. The woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worship on these mountains, and you Jews say that in Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship with what you know, what you, sorry, what you do not know. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour is coming, and the hour is now when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such worship, to worship Him. God is a spirit, and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and in truth. The woman said to Him, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When He comes, He will tell us all things. Jesus said to her, I am who speak to you, and He. And now let's read 39 to 41. And many of the Samaritans of the city believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified, He told me all that I ever, that I ever did. So when the Samaritans had come to him, they urged him to stay with them. And he stayed with them two days. And many more believed because of his word. Amen. Father, Lord, we just want to thank you for your word, O oh Lord God. Salamat po, Panginoon, Lord God, for the treasure, for Lord God, for all the precious things of Father God, the principles of Father God that we can draw from your word of Father God. Panginoon, hayaan mo, Panginoon, na tulad po ng isang, Lord God, tulad ng isang ulan of Father God, that will not go back to heaven, oh Lord God, without accomplishing its purpose, oh Father God. Let your word fall upon our hearts today, oh Father God, so that it will accomplish its purpose, oh Father God. Lord, we desire not only to be instructed, oh Lord God, but to be inspired. Not only to be educated, oh Lord God, but to become encouraged, oh Father God, in doing the things that you want us to do in life, oh Father God. Pagayon, maraming maraming salamat, oh Lord God. And to everyone who is here today, Father, I pray, oh Father God, that may your presence today, oh Lord God, will minister to them individually. God, I trust in your ability, oh Lord God, to make a difference, oh Lord God, because of your presence in our midst, oh Lord God, today. Alam ko po, Panginoon, that you're not going to let us down, oh Father God. Every one of us, oh Lord God, came here with certain expectation, oh Lord God, na sa aming pong paglabas, Panginoon, in this worship service today, Father, our lives, oh Lord God, are for the better. Maraming maraming salamat, oh Lord God, and Lord, we give you thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen, 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 and amen. amen.
our preaching for today is this. The power of an encounter. The power of an encounter. <coughs> Amen. So you see, an encounter is always a turning point. Every time po na meron tayong encounter, there's always a shift in direction. Tulad po halimbawa, siguro ng mga single pa tayo, we were aiming for, maybe siguro, eh, personally ako po, gusto pong makarating ng mararaming lugar. Gusto pong ma-achieve yung mga bagay-bagay na siguro none of my friends during high school or even college as a revenge to them, ay gusto pong malagpasan yung talilang mga achievements. Those were my aspirations no ako may mas bata pa ano po. Pero when I've met my wife, everything has changed. Nung pa, kapag tayo po ay nagkakaroon ng encounter, nagkakaroon po ng shift in our trajectory. In every encounter, nagbabago po yung ating direction. So if you are a single, kaya po sa ating po mga single dito, pakipas ka po yung mga kami mga mga singles. Yung mga singles and searching. Alright? O kahit yung mga meron na sa mga singles pa. Okay? If you are happy now, especially with the direction ng inyong relationship with God, if I can make this advice, ano po, if I may make this advice, kapag kayo po ay masaya na, dun sa direction, dun sa nilalakad ng inyong relationship with God, because that is the most important thing, your relationship with God, because everything, all other relationship, will revolve around that relationship with God. Kaya kapag, kapag maayos na, kapag masaya na kayo dun sa relationship po na yan. And if you are looking for a person to marry, if you're looking for a person to be with for the rest of your life, it is important that you choose someone na hindi babaguhin yung iyong direction na yun. Amen? It is important that you are going to find someone who will not change yung relationship na meron ka ngayon sa ating Panginoon. Last encounter trip. Amen. I've seen talaga yung mga talagang nag-testify po dito. And I know that there are more of them na kapag ibibigay po sa kanila ang microphone na yon, ay kulang po ang maghapon for them to share their experiences. Everything that has changed in them. Yung mga areas na mga buhay, na, mga buhay nila na talagang nabago pagkatapos po ng encounter po na yon. They are locked and loaded. So this week, ano po, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of news and I'm a big fan of technology. As a matter of fact, I am an avid fan of Elon Musk. Sino mo na kilala kayo na Elon Musk? He's a very young billionaire, ano po. Kilala niyo ba siya? O, ha? Yung may-ari gumawa ng Tesla. Okay? And yung gumawa, yung may-ari ng SpaceX. Alam niyo, SpaceX? Kapag medyo updated po tayo sa technology, medyo talagang alam natin si Elon Musk. As a matter of fact, Gusto ko nga ang ipangalan sana si Paul kay Elon. Kasi nga, Elon is a very, it looks, to me, it sounds like it's a very strong, strong name. Si Elon Musk, this week alone, ay nagpalipad po siya ng the, the, the most powerful rocket ever in the history. A rocket that is able to orbit in Mars. So ganun po yung, yung ano ni, ni Elon Musk. Ano po yan? To me, I'm wondering, ano kaya yung mapapala ni Elon Musk by sending a rocket into space and orbit Mars. Ano kaya yung nakikita niya? Maybe he's not looking for immediate reward. Maybe he's not only looking for yung immediate na attention ba ng tao. But he's looking for potential. He's looking for potential. Kaya nga po, when yung, yung mga leaders po of this church, when we have been pushing so hard na sa mga hindi pa nakapag-encounter, na hindi, hindi pa nakapag-attend ng encounter retreat, naramdaman niyo po ba na halos talagang I, I, namin, parang hatakin namin kayo at ikad, ikadena namin kayo doon sa saan mag-encounter it ka, saan mag-encounter it ka. Because we believe in this. You have the potential. Amen. You have the potential and if you will experience your encounter with God, encounter with the thing that I'm going to share with you today, you're going to be launched like this rocket. Yung launch ni Elon Musk na the most powerful rocket ever, you're going to be launched even more greater than that. So, I want to take this chance to recognize once again yung, ating pong, yung efforts na ating pong batch one. When we were traveling, Bishop and I, nung kami po ay nagbibiyay papuntang Dubai, uh, sinabihan pa ako ni Bishop, ang pastor, sabi niya, uh, parang hindi yata tayo masyadong nakapattern, sabi niya. Anong ibig sabihin, Bishop? Kasi po, 
kapag talagang nakapatay tayo, hindi po encounter God retreat ang tawag natin doon sa nangyari. Encounter retreat lang ang dapat nating itawag doon. Sabi ko, please sa bakit naman. So, he did not give me an explanation. Ang sinabi lang niya, this is what they are using in the Philippines. So, kailangan din natin sumunod doon sa pattern nila. And I was, I was, I was thinking, ano bang masama kapag gamitin natin yung God? And so, I was thinking, the Lord has revealed to me when I was meditating on what I'm going to share to you today, na yung nangyari po na encounter retreat two Fridays ago, it is not only an encounter with God, it is even more than that. Kaya nga po, napakalaki po nung nangyari po nung that Friday, that other Friday, nung kayo po ay nagkaroon ng encounter retreat. And I'm going to share that to you because that encounter retreat is also multidimensional. Okay. So, the first encounter na may dita po natin dito, yung mga naka-attend, ano po? They had an encounter with themselves. Nagkaroon po sila ng encounter with themselves. You know, the first element to a truly powerful encounter is this, an encounter with thine self. Put your hand in front of you. May, may I suggest pa rin di tayo matulog? Alright, ilagay po natin ang ating pong kamay, right hand in front of us. At sabihin po niyo yung pangalan ninyo. Pangalan po niyo. Okay, how about Abby? Who are you? Okay, sabihin mo yan natin, Abby. Abby, who are you? Okay. Mukhang hindi kayo masyadong nakasunod. Okay lang ba kayo? Kasama ko pa kayo? Okay. Balikan po natin yung story. As for the Samaritan woman, as for the Samaritan woman, he doesn't know, she doesn't know herself. She is, she is not living. She is just existing. Malaki po yung pagkakaiba ng ikaw ay nabubuhay at meron po yung pagkakaiba na ikaw ay nag-e-exist ka lang. You are just existing just because you're there. But you are no longer living because you have lost your purpose in life. You have lost your essence in life. For this particular woman, if you have followed the story, nakita po natin ano po, nakita po natin that she had five husbands already. At yung kanyang kinakasama ngayon na lalaki ay hindi pa niya asawa. So nakita natin that this woman, her life is riddled with tragedy. Hindi natin alam kung anong nangyari dun sa mga limang husband niya. Maybe namatay, or we don't know, we can only speculate, but we know that this woman is searching for something that is greater than man can provide, than the security that a man can provide. Kaya po siya naghahanap ng naghahanap ng naghahanap, and we can also see that this man is somehow outcast. Dahil nga po nakita natin dito, she is fetching water doon sa well on the 13th hour. 13th hour po sa kalagitnaan ng araw, she is fetching water. I've been to Africa. I've been to um, Uganda, Africa. Yun sa mga ganong mga countries and also dun sa mga gaitong mga, mga culture at that, or during their time, yung pag-iigid po ng, ng tubig dun sa balon, it is their time to socialize with other people. It is a time where yung pinag-uusapan nila kung gusto na kayo nangyari kay Provinciano, kung gusto na kayo nangyari kay ganito. Yung mga, yung mga soap opera, pinag-uusapan po nila. Pinag-uusapan po nila yung mga, siguro all the gossip, mga prevailing gossip during their time. So, nakita po natin that coming into a well is supposed to be a social experience. It is supposed to be a time where in women can exchange ideas with other women, trade stories, trade secrets, etc., etc. But for this particular woman, mag-isa lang siya, nakikita natin na nag-iigib ng tubig. At at the time na siya po ay nag-iigib, Nag-iigib siya doon sa kalagitnaan, nakatirip pa ang araw siya ay nag-iigib. Maybe she's avoiding socializing with other people. Maring ini-avoid ng mga ibang tao. Because why? Because of her experience. Nakita natin na itong babaeng to, she is no longer living. She is just existing. However, noong po siya ay nagkaroon ng encounter sa kanyang sarili, nakita, nakita po natin ano po, it was a very different experience when she found herself in the presence of God. My personal assessment to those who have attended the recent encounter retreat is that some of you are in search of yourself. Tell me if I'm wrong. Ano po? Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm just a pastor. I'm not perfect. And from time to time, I can make mistakes. And I'm also not a prophet. So I cannot prophesy the things. I cannot read your mind. And I cannot read definitely your souls. So 
Maybe to some of you, you are still sore searching. Maybe yung mga iba po sa talaga sa atin, talagang nahimok lang ang ating pong mga life group leads na sana magpunta kayo. Yung mga iba lang siguro, uma- sumasabay lang talaga sa Agos. Meron bang ganun? Wala naman yata, no? Wala naman yata. Lahat kayo, you all went voluntarily because you wanted to experience something that is different. Yung mga iba, ang sinasabi natin, nawawala sa sarili. Amen? Not knowing who they are, who they really are, their true identity, their true worth, or their true essence. Many of you before the ER, you are like a perfume. You are like a perfume. Ano pong babangong babangong na perfume, na pabango talaga. Amen? But your potential is locked into that perfume dun sa battle po na yan. Sealed. Talagang walang nakakalabas na amoy. But after that encounter retreat, when you had an encounter with yourself, when you have seen yourself in the presence of God, Lord, ganito po pala ako, Lord. That despite of me being like this, Father God, you have loved me so much. Sino po sa atin nakaramdam na lang, especially nung hinawakan po ninyo yung cross? My, my experience was very different nung hinawakan po yung cross, Lord. Grabe yung pag-ibig mo sa akin, Lord. When I first had an encounter with myself in front of the cross, wherein the Lord Jesus Christ was crucified, sabi ko, Lord, grabe pala talaga yung pag-ibig mo sa akin. Grabe yung pag-ibig mo sa akin. Parang isang perfume. Na yung perfume po na yan, matagal na, matagal talagang nakaselya. Matagal talagang hindi lumalabas yung kanyang perfume at that particular time when all of you had an encounter with yourself during the encounter retreat. Para kayong perfume na talagang nabasag on the floor. You're just like this precious alabaster jar filled with this precious ointment, precious oil na talagang yung, yung presence po niya during those times. Whatever our 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 power couple, ang ating pong technical team, ang multimedia team, whenever they are posting pictures of you, I'm glorifying God. Dahil nakikita po, naamoy ko pa rin yung perfume po na yun. Your life is like a perfume in the presence of God na talagang mabangong mabubuo siya. Sorry. Mabangong mabubuo po siya. Amen. So, to those who of you already attended the ER, no longer in search of themselves, you know exactly who you are in the sight of God. Amen. The next thing, makita po natin dito. The next thing is an encounter with God. This is very important. This is very important because this is the game changer. This is the game changer. You can have an encounter with yourself. You can have an encounter with other people. But if you can avoid to have an encounter with God, your life will never ever change. For this Samaritan woman, sinabi niya dito, she tried to hide her true spiritual state with that of her religion. Nung kinukonfront siya ng ating Panginoong Jesus, alam mo, sabi niya, totoo yung sinabi noon na wala kang asawa. Dahil nagkaroon ka ng limang asawa, pero ngayon ay kinakasama mo, ay hindi mo asawa. When the Lord has confronted her with her sins, sinusubukang pagtakpan itong babae ang kanyang kasalanan with her religion. Sinabi niya, Jesus, I perceive you are a prophet, but we worship on this hill, whereas you are Jew, you worship in Jerusalem. So sinasabi niya dito, I also have my own religion. Maka-encounter na pa kayo ng mga tao na nun, that whenever you are sharing the word of God, sasabihin sa inyo, may religion na ako eh. Pasensya na na, I can no longer entertain you because I already have my religion. It is a sad story that people are clinging on that particular thing na sa tingin nila that salvation, yung kanilang amang pagliligtas sa kanila, ay yung kanilang religion. It is a sad thing. The only, because the only thing that can save us is by having a true encounter with God on the cross. So yung mga talagang umaten po ng encounter retreat, those who have encountered the encounter retreat, if your preparation is only weak, God has been preparing for your entire life for that encounter alone. I not only know because that the encounter with God, your lives have been changed for eternity. Because once you have encountered God, your life will never be the same again. So if you are looking for a direction in life, a change of course in your direction in life, ask this, Lord, I just want to have an encounter with you, Lord. Pwede ba magkaroon ng encounter sa iyo na maranasan kita? Maybe you're longing for that. July is still, ma- ma- talagang malayong malayo po po ang July. But can you just speak to yourself right now that Lord, I want to experience yung mga na-experience ng aking mga kasama sa trabaho. 
When they have attempted encounter retreat, gusto ko rin maranasan Lord yung kakaibang tuwa nila, kakaibang sigla nila when they have attended yung encounter retreat. So if you're looking for that encounter and direction in life, have an encounter with God anytime. The last part, ito po, the last part is encounter with your purpose. Encounter with your purpose. So for this particular woman, nakikita po natin yung progression ng kanyang experience with Jesus Christ. Nakikita niya yung kanyang sarili in front of God, in front of the Lord. Makasalanan po ako, Lord. I, I don't have essence in my life. I don't have I don't have meaning in my life. But when nagkaroon siya talaga ng face-to-face encounter with God, ang sumunod po na nangyari dyan ay nagkaroon siya ng encounter sa kanyang purpose in life. She had no purpose in life. She was just going on with the flow before the encounter with our Lord Jesus Christ. But after her encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ, nagita po natin, nagbago po yung kanyang purpose. Nagbago po yung kanyang outlook sa kanyang buhay. She now had a greater purpose. So nagita po natin, she brought the whole village into the saving grace of God. So maybe you're asking yourself, Pastor, pwede pong mangyari sa akin yun na yung aking asawa ay malid ko sa Panginoon. That my wife can also be saved through me kapag ako ay nag-share sa kanya. Kapatid, eto nga, wala siyang purpose in her life. Ang tingin niya sa sarili niya ay talagang out ka siya. But the Lord have used her story. The Lord has used her life to save the entire village. Nakita natin, di ba? So, puli ng Panginoon. So, <clears throat> once you have an encounter with God, you too will have an encounter with your purpose. You know what made a church, this church, Great Nation Church, a church right now? It is a church full of potential. Nakita niyo po. Ang bawat isa po sa inyo, you are potential. Pakisabi po sa inyo po nga dabi, you are a potential. This church, nakita po natin ano po, she left just posted this morning, in six months, nagkaroon po kayo ng attendance ng 113. But that is not the only metric by which we say that this church ay talagang hitik sa potential. The other metric is when we see people are being changed, people's lives are being changed. Na, 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 sa, ang bawat isa sa kanila ay nagkakaroon ng personal testimony. I believe that that church has a greater potential. Na hindi lamang isa, na hindi lamang pastor, na hindi lamang leader ang nagkakaroon ng testimony, kundi ang bawat isa na nagkakaroon ng encounter with God ay nagkakaroon ng kanilang personal testimony. Once you have your own personal testimony, it will be a different story. It is a game changer, sabi nga po nila. Because your story, your story, that is the gospel by which other people would be reading. Ayun po babasahin po nila. Sabi nga ni Bishop, di ba? Kapag wala kang kwento, wala kang kwenta. Ngayon, ang mga karamihan po sa atin, may mga sarili-sariling kwento na po tayo. Because of the experiences that we have received, because of the blessings that we have received from God, because of the answered prayers. Nakita po natin, tunay nga, kapag tayo ay nagpreta ng palatay sa Panginoon, He will answer our prayers. Now, because you have that story now, I can say that this church is full of potential. Sinabi ko dito, what, what made Great Nation Church a church right now is on that night, na ako po ay tinanong ni Bisha, the first time na siya po ay dumating dito, that was April last year. Tinanong po na ako ni Bishop, after spending so many hours with me, natulog, natulog na po yata kami halos 2 o'clock in the morning na, at tinanong ako ni Bishop pagkatapos po niya mag vision cast. Vision cast. Pastor, this is the greatest thing that we can do for the glory of God. Ito yung dapat natin ginagawa. Ito dapat yung mini-major natin. Hindi dapat dating mini-major yung mga minor in, in teaching. Pero dapat ang ginagawa natin, yung talagang gusto ng Panginoon na pinapagawa sa atin. Okay? So, tinanong ako ni Bishop, anong gusto mong mangyari ngayon? Sabi ko, Bishop, I only have one life. I only have one life. And if I'm going to live the rest of this life, I want to live it extraordinarily. Gusto ko ang maging buhay kong ito ay maging isang buhay na extraordinary. Hindi lang ordinary. Hindi lang ang ordinary by which pag natapos ko ang buhay ko na ito ay babalik na ako sa langit at wala man lang ako, Lord, I've served you well. Well, hindi ba lang sasabihin sa akin ng Panginoon na Come on, come on in. Good and faithful servant, you have served me well. I want to hear that sweet voice na kapag ako'y bumalik sa ating Panginoon, ay sasabihin niya sa akin yun. So, at that particular night, I know that the Lord have already stirred up something in my spirit, in my heart, na talagang one of these days ay magkakaroon talaga ng gawain na tulad po ng ganito. 
And that particular night have started everything. Until myself and my wife, we were lying in bed at that particular time. Sinabi namin sa isa, isa, maybe it's already time for it. That was six months ago, July. Kaya po, at that particular time, my wife is going through a terrible situation in their life as a family. As a matter of fact, at that particular time, yung kanyang dad ay nasa ICU at that particular time at nagagawa buhay. But we were so focused on the things that the Lord wanted us to do. At alam ko po, nakita ko po namin, nakita ko namin that ito po yung direction na pinapakita ng Panginoon at particular time. And we've made a step of faith. And praise God to those who join us. 19. 19 individuals po talaga yung sumama at that particular time. And look where we are right now. Sama-sama po tayo ngayon ng video. Why? Because we have found our purpose in life. Nakita po natin yung purpose natin sa ating buhay. Pakitabi po niyo po ang katabi. What is your purpose in life? Ano po yung purpose niyo sa ating buhay? Without pun intended, sinabi ko ni Bishop, bigyan naman natin ng rason si God na tayo ay buhayin pa niya tayo. Matatatang niya ba yung sinabi niya? Because his belief is this, habang tayo po ay nabubuhay dito, habang tayo ay gumagawa pa ng mga bagay na talagang pinapagaw sa atin ng Panginoon, we are immortal. Yun ang kanyang sinabi. We are immortal. Nothing can go against us. Nothing can kill us. Nothing can, 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 can harm us in a way. Pero bigyan naman natin ng kadailangan ng Panginoon for Him to sustain us in this life. So once we have an encounter with yourself, kapag nagkaroon na po tayo ng encounter with ourself, nakita po natin who we really are in front of God. We acknowledge who we are in front of God. Lord, salamat po, Diyos, sa inyo pong pag-ibig sa atin. And then next, nakita po natin, you will have encounter with God. Nakita po natin yung grace ng Panginoon na talagang ibinuhus po niya sa bawat isa sa atin. And then lastly, kapag nakita po natin yung dalawa po na yun, we will see, just like the particular woman, this woman, Samaritan woman, outcast sa kanyang society, but she has found a greater purpose in her life. No longer did he become, continue to become an outcast in her society. Pero siya po, yung nakita natin, she is the first evangelist recorded in the Bible. Nakita po natin, previously an outcast. Previously, a woman of no significance. Pero pagkatapos po ng encounter with herself, pagkatapos po ng encounter with God, she had an encounter with her purpose. Nagita po natin, she became the first woman evangelist ever recorded in the Bible. So, yung mga nakaten po ng encounter retreat, tingnan niyo po sila. Hindi po basta-basta yung mga yan. They are locked and loaded. And they're just waiting for the next opportunity for, the, for God to use each and every one of them. Amen. Praise God. The power of an encounter. The power of an encounter. Ultimately, an encounter with yourself, an encounter with God, an encounter with your purpose. It has to change your life. Ang nagiging evidence po talaga ng isang encounter ay yung nagkakaroon ng pagbabago sa ating buhay. It may be gradual. To some people, it may be a drastic change. Talagang overnight, nagkakaroon talaga ng pagbabago. But to some, it is a process. But nevertheless, nakikita po natin that we are being changed from glory to glory, from ashes to beauty, from death to life, nagkakaroon po ng pagbabago ang ating buhay because we had effective, powerful encounter already with God. An encounter is not a powerful encounter if it does not change your trajectory. If it doesn't change your trajectory, it is not a powerful encounter at all. Man's natural trajectory is desperation, yung natural na inclination ng tao kapag walang relationship kay God, ay puro karera lang sa buhay, Karir ng karir, trabaho ng trabaho, until they found out, kapag sila po ay nag-retire sa kanilang trabaho, eto lang ba yung pinaghirapan ko? You begin to ask those kind of questions, eto lang ba yung pinaghirapan ko? Sayang naman pala yung buhay ko. Kapatid, don't waste your life. 
Don't waste your life. Find your purpose in God by having an encounter with Him. But if you allow God to have an encounter with yourself, with Him, and with your purpose right now, your life will never be the same again. Tulad po ng picture po nato, when I was looking for a picture that would demonstrate kung gaano ka talaga powerful yung encounter with God. This is an inferior wave. This is a superior wave and this is an inferior wave. Tayo po, alam po natin that God is far, far superior than us. And we are far, far inferior in comparison to God. And if we're going to submit ourselves, tulad po ng alon po na to, na nasa ilalim, if we're going to submit ourselves before this far, far greater wave we call God, eventually we will become part of Him. Yung ating pong identity becomes great as well. Why? Because we become part of that greater wave. That is the true power of an encounter. Your identity will change, be changed from being inferior to something that is superior, something like the picture of Christ. Nakita po natin ano po, the end goal of each and every one of us is Christ-likeness. Christ-likeness. Ano ba yung superior na tinatawag po natin? Don't get me wrong. Superior, ibig mang sabihin nito na pagdating natin sa ating trabaho, tayo nag-uutos sa ating boss, na kapag inutusan natin ang ating boss, ay susunod siya. That is not my definition of superior. My definition of superior is this, na kahit po nagkakaroon ng digmaan, meron pa rin tayong katahimikan. Na kahit na meron tayong problema sa ating buhay, we still find joy in our hearts because we find a superior source of all of this blessing, joy, long-suffering, patience, endurance in life. May kita po natin that we are far superior than any of those things in our life. Praise God. Now, I'm, I'm closing now. I'm, I, I don't know if you know this picture. Uh, nakita niyo po ba? Anong paa po ito? Parang elepante? At nakita niyo po, it's a slim kind of a cord, right? I don't know, maybe to some of you, you are somehow resisting still this. Maari niyo ibusa sa inyo talagang nawe-weirduhan sa mga tulad ng mga gawain na ganito. Ay mga, mga mga born again na ganyan, parang mga weirdo sila. Na talagang praise the Lord sila, praise the Lord sila na ganyan. Parang, I don't want to be associated with them. But maybe you are just someone who is resisting a change because of certain fear in life. Na siguro maari, in the past, meron lang nag-share sa inyo ng Word of God and they were not able to minister to you at in the long run, talagang natisod ka sa kanila at nakita mo sa kanila, ganyan ba lang mga kristyano? Ayaw ko nang maging kristyano kung ganyan lang din sila. Maybe because of that certain fear of yung talagang, I don't, you don't want to let go of your particular religion. Amen? Fear that your purpose, fear that your purpose is, yung talagang, gusto, gusto yung purpose mo lang is ganito lang. Yung, yung tipong achievable lang. Yung tipong kayang-kaya mo lang yung purpose mo sa iyong buhay. You know what? Maybe those are certain fears na kailangan nating iwaksi sa umagang ito. Nakita po rin nito pong picture po na to. This elephant is full of potential. Full of potential. Very powerful ang elephant na yan. I mean, nakita po natin, but the only thing that is hindering him is this tiny little cord. Na kapag ginanon lang niya siguro, ay talagang maano ma- ma- na yung cord po na yan. Ma- ma- Mapapatid na yung cord po na yan. But why she is letting himself bound by this little cord is because of this. Nung sila po dahil bata pa, eto na po yung nakasuot na cord sa kanila. When they were younger, and they were trying to shake it off, dahil sila ay bata pa, hindi nila na ma-shake. Hindi nila, ma- hindi nila ma-patid itong cord po na to. And then they develop this 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 belief sa kanilang paglaki, lumaki sila nung lumaki, iniisip nila na sa kanilang paglaki ay hindi pa nilang kaya pa, pa at tawag ito, sorry, um, putulin itong tali na ito. So lumaki na sila, they already have the ability to do whatever they want to do with this cord so that they could be set free, pero takot pa rin sila dahil in the past, when they were younger, they have failed so many times. They have failed so many times. So I don't know, maybe you are resisting change. Ayaw mo nang pagbabago sa iyong buhay. Ayaw mo nang, ayaw mo nang magkaroon ng encounter retreat pa. Ayaw mo, yung sinasabi ng pastor na seven months yung pagdating ng July, ayaw ko maging kabahagi noon. Kasi nga, okay na ako sa buhay ko because, you know, I, maybe I've tried several things in my life before and I've never succeeded. 
maybe it's a good time for you to test God once again. So nakita po natin dito that this particular elephant, although he's full of potential, and yet, hindi pa rin siya makamove on, hindi pa rin siya makalaya doon sa kanyang mga failures in the past because she has failed in the past. My encouragement to each and every one of us is this. Be open to change. Amen. Be open to change. Amen. And the only thing that can can truly foster, that the only thing can truly develop yung change po sa buhay natin into something that talagang purposeful po yung ating buhay, into something that talagang ina-accomplish po natin yung purpose po natin sa ating buhay, is first having an encounter with yourself. Whenever you have an encounter with yourself at talagang nailagay mo yung sarili mo in front of a mirror, sinabi mo, this is far, this is how far I have fallen. Ganito na pala ako kalayo sa Panginoon. Ganito na pala ako, yung relationship ko talaga sa Kanya ay talagang hindi ko talaga pinahalagahan. Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, I'm so sorry. If you have come into that particular stage na talagang nagkaroon ka ng encounter sa iyong sarili, the next encounter to that is have an encounter with God. Because only then, na yung guilt na yung naranasan by having an encounter with yourself, ay mapapawi at papalitan ng Panginoon ng kanyang pag-ibig. Have an encounter with God. And then lastly, have an encounter with your purpose. Have an encounter with your purpose. May I please request each and every one to, uh, to stand with me. At if I may request yung ating po mga bisita for the very first time, yung ating po mga VIPs, nasamahan po sila ng kanilang mga invites. Yung mga na, na, nag-invite po sa kanila. Okay. We just want to pray for you. Pag-pray lang po namin kayo. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Um, ang, ang Panginoon naman po na kababatid kung ano yung relationship natin sa Kanya. But at this particular time, I just want to take this opportunity to once again commit you to God. That is the most important thing in life. Ang sinabi pa ng salita ng Panginoon, you can have everything in this life. Lahat ng kayamanan dito sa sanlibutan ito. And yet, if you don't have Christ, you have gained nothing. Wala po tayo nakala sa buhay na ito. Because at the end of the day, lahat po nang meron tayo, when we go back into the grave, kapag tayo po'y namatay na, wala tayong madadala. Hindi natin madala yung ating iPhone 10. Hindi, hindi ko madadala yung ating paboritong Huawei Mate Pro. Although, kung gusto, gusto ko yung phone na yun, there's nothing in this life that we can bring on the grave. But the only thing that truly lasts forever is having a life that is truly with God. Yung relationship na magkakaroon po tayo sa ating Panginoon. So only God knows. Ang ating pong Panginoon na nakakalam. If you are here for the first time and if you are hearing this kind of message for the first time, I pray that may open your hearts towards God and accept Him as your personal Lord and Savior. Nothing nothing can even compare to that particular decision. It is the most significant decision that each and every one of us can ever make in this life. You may commit natin yung ating sarili sa kanya. Father, this particular time, oh God, I just want to thank you, Lord, for our visitors today, Lord God. They are important before you, Father God, that's why you've sent them here. Alam namin, Panginoon, that you have led their ways, so Father God, oh Lord God, sa a place po na ito, Panginoon, for them to listen to your word. And Lord, to have an encounter with you, Father God, Panginoon, kayo lamang po nakababatid sa kanila, O Diyos. Kayo lamang po, O Diyos, ang nakakilala sa kanila, O Diyos. And Father, I pray right now, O Father God, may you search, O Lord God, the deepest recesses of their hearts, O Father God. Sa niksikin niyo, Panginoon, ang bawat sulok, O Lord God, bawat kanto, O Father God, bawat bahagi, Panginoon, ng kanilang mga puso, O God. And Father, I pray that may you find in their heart, O Father God, a place for yourself, a place wherein, O Lord God, you will dwell, O Father God. A place wherein, O God, you, O Lord God, ikay eh, po, Panginoon, ay mananahan, Panginoon, sa kanilang mga puso, O Father God, at sa kanilang mga buhay, O God. Father, I pray, O Father God, for each and every one of them. Sa akin po, mga kapatid, Panginoon, na nandito sa lugar na yun, O Lord God, Father, I pray that may you work in their hearts, O Father God. May you stir up in their heart, O Father God, yung pag-ibig sa inyo, Panginoon, yung desire, O Lord God, sa kanilang puso, O Diyos, na magkaroon ng mas malalim pa ng pagkakilala sa inyo, O Lord God. Father, I pray, O Lord God, that may you release your blessings upon them today, O Father God. 
all of the blessings that you have appointed, O Lord God, at the foundation of the universe, O Lord God. And when you brought them in this world, O Father God, Father, I pray that may you pour it out to them, O God. Marami salamat po, Diyos, ano na mabuhay. Father, I pray, O Lord God, for everyone who in, whom, whom you have used, O Lord God, to invite them. Kay Brad Joel, O Lord God, kay May, O Lord God, sa aking kapatid, O Lord God. That I don't remember the name, Father, I pray that may you bless them, O Father God. Pagpalaan niyo po ang kanilang mga buhay, O Father God. And I know, O Father God, that at a time, O Lord God, that they will look at you face to face, O Father God. Father, they will be wearing many crowns, O Father God. But all of their crowns, O Lord God, all of those crowns, O Lord God, we will cast them before you, O Father God. Being the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, you are the only one desiring, the, the serving of all of those crowns, O Father God. Salamat po, Diyos, sa bawat isa po sa aming Panginoon. And God, we even thank you for the message that we have heard today, O Father God. Lord, thank you for changing our lives, O Father God. Thank you for allowing each and every one of our Lord God to have an encounter with ourselves, to have an encounter with you, O God. And Lord, thank you for giving us an encounter with our purpose in this life, that our purpose, O Lord God, is to serve you and to serve you alone, O Father God. Father, I pray to po ng aking pong desire, Panginoon, at the time that I have made a commitment, O Father God, to follow the vision that you have planted in my heart, O Father God. Help each and every one of us, O Father God, listening now to this voice, O Father God. Help each and every one of us. That the rest of our lives, Panginoon, na yung natitira pang araw sa aming buhay, Panginoon, ay gagamitin namin, O Lord God, para sa inyong kapurihan, O Father God, so that this life will truly become an extraordinary, extraordinary, supernatural life, O Father God. God, we thank you. In this mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. So, um, you know, I'm consolidation team. So, we have a team who is waiting for you, and uh, they, they just want to take five minutes of your time just to know more about you. And they just want to consolidate you, they just want to know more about you and how we can be of help to you. Um, future, uh, future endeavor with God. God bless you both. God bless you, God. Broken eyes, broken eyes. six days, O Lord God, of this week. Father, each and every one of us, O Lord God, will truly live a victorious life. Father, may you look down on us, O Lord God, with your eyes of favor, O Father God, so that each and every one of Lord God, that as you bless us, O Father God, Lord, you will become source of blessings to others, O Father God. Lord, truly, O Lord God, that every one of us, O Lord God, will be blessed to bless other people. Amen. God, we thank you once again, and may you receive all the praises and all the adoration and thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we pray, and everybody will say, Amen! Amen. 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 Amen.